Hey there, Taurus. Hope your guys' week has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. I have to say I'm proud of myself, Taurus. Um, this is five days now since I've not hit my vape pen. I quit smoking cigarettes back in 2020, but unfortunately I picked up a vape pen to, you know, make, to, I guess, a substitute for the cigarettes. And I'm like really proud of myself because I've gone five days without hitting my vape pen. I'm not allowing myself to buy another one. I think that it's harder with these vape pens because me personally, I it's easier for you to hit the vape pen than have to go outside when you're smoking cigarettes and things. So big milestone for me. So I think it's like 30 days for you to start a habit or start a habit up. Like if you're trying to exercise and things like a 30 days to, to start and stop. So five days going strong without a vape pen. I'm going to keep on doing it. So if you guys are anything out there, you guys are trying to stop. You guys can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. So all right, beautiful Tauruses, let's find out what these cards are saying for us today. What messages are coming out for our highest good? It's going to be from my beautiful sign of Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, babes. Tell me about Taurus, please. Taurus. Got disregard. Rejection. Got somebody butt hurt already. Shattered. Taurus, what'd you do? <laughs> what'd you do, Taurus? Somebody's not happy, man. Why? Oh, because cause of this. Because we've changed our heart. We switched up on somebody, okay? Man, somebody is not happy with us, but oh well. When a Taurus makes their mind up, that's it. There ain't no changing it. <laughs> that's why it takes us a long time. You know, we can hang on and hold on to people for a while, but again, once we make our mind up, he ain't changing it back. That's what it is. What's the overall energy for Taurus, please? Honesty. And this is us being real with ourselves, being honest with ourselves, okay? This is us leaving people behind that didn't want to be truthful with us. We, we, we keep it pushing. So definitely an energy here of you being honest with yourself and, and being done with somebody. And now it's like somebody wants to try to come in here and, and have a, an open, honest conversation with you. A grief, so... This person's realizing what we meant to them now that we're gone, okay? This is someone that causes a lot of grief. Little. This is someone that caused us a lot of grief and pain, though, guys, okay? Someone that just tossed us to the side and disregarded us, and now they're trying to come back for us. But remember all the pain that they put us through. I always say forgive, but don't forget, Taurus. So somebody is definitely realizing who, what you meant to them now that you're gone. That's why, you know, with Tauruses, this person for sure thought they had you, like you were never going to go because we, we give people more than one chance to get them some act right. And like I said, when we finally make our mind up, that's it. There's no changing it back. And somebody's realizing this about us now. Let me get one for Taurus. Break through the clouds and find the truth again. So this is us seeing things for what it is. No longer letting people have us in illusions. Okay, filling our head with nonsense. This is about us trusting our intuition, listening to our higher self, and, and breaking through all the illusions. Finding the truth, being honest with ourselves, and exiting the situation. Career is on the rise. We got that last time. So, yeah, that's another reason why somebody's wanting to come back, because our career is on the rise here. Okay? I feel like you guys have been setting intentions here. You guys could do like moon work and do manifestations with the, the moon cycles and things, but there's something here that you've been manifesting towards you and, and it's on the rise. Your career is on the rise. Okay? That's why you got somebody shattered here because they see in your life get better. Tauruses don't seek revenge. Pretty much a Taurus's revenge is getting our money right. You know, that's that's what we do. We don't go out and play these little games with love and try to do tit for tat. We put our head down and we focus on our work and that's why we're being rewarded. Let me get one for Taurus. Taurus. Magic, man. So we've, we're magic. We're finding out that we have this magic too. Something here about this person is feeling like we're do, doing some kind of magic or spell work to, to get us where we're at. Man, I don't need to do magic. None of us need to do magic. We are magic. So, you know, just being in the mystical and magical things, okay? 
And I'm telling you, you definitely got a magical side to you, and, and you got people seeing this. Definitely somebody here in particular, but it's more than one person here. Your magic with these new beginnings here. So you know how to manifest things for yourself, Taurus. You are ready to let go of the past. Okay, today is a new day, and we are moving forward with our life. Exactly. So magic a lot of you guys didn't know you had these gifts and things okay but that's part of also is breaking through these illusions as well it's because i feel like you've had a lot of people try to dummy your intuition down and try to tell you that you know that wasn't what was going on when you clearly knew what was going on it's like you've had this strong intuition and magical side to you this whole time but it's like people wanted to keep you from that and they didn't want you to see your true your true potential but you're seeing it now and now you got these new beginnings coming in here. Career. Some of you guys could could be love here. You worked on your heart chakra. That that green tells me you're, you you just working on your heart chakra. Everything's opening back up for you. That's beautiful. And then there's more green. Good fortune. As I am grateful for all the good fortune that I have, more blessings flow into my life. And that's what you're doing. Being thankful for everything that you have in your life right now, guys. Don't focus on the past. Don't focus on the future. Focus on your life right now. And look at all the beautiful things that you have in your life. And show so much gratitude and appreciation. Because that right there is going to bring more good fortune and new beginnings towards your life. Okay? So pull, keep pulling that into you. That's beautiful. Like I said, you got people shattered because they see your good fortune and these new beginnings lining up for you. And that career on the rise, I mean, my gosh, Taurus. I like our read already. We're just getting started. Time out, disregard. So, so you got somebody here that wanted to toss you to the side, disregard you. This is past energy here. People from your past. Definitely one person here in particular. Okay? You've had a lot of people. I'm just going to keep saying people because it's more than one person here for you guys. So you've had past people just toss you to the side, disregard you, okay? It's almost like people thought that you were going to stay in that past mindset, but you you didn't, okay? Some of you guys, it, this could have had some kind of childhood issues, like just feeling like left out, you know, just picked last. So you guys could have felt this way since childhood even. So, because there's something here very magical about you. So you guys could have had people just like you for no reason at all. Again, it's because you've got this magical side and, and this anointing on your life. You've got this light that people just hate on you and they don't like you for no reason, Taurus. So that's what happens with people like that. So you got past disregarded by you, though. This is about learning your past life lessons, guys, okay? Fulfilling these contracts and, you know, moving on. That's why you cut all these beautiful things lining up for you because you've been learning your lessons here. That's good, Taurus. So you've got past people feeling disregarded by you. <laughs> these people thought you was going to be sad and down for the count, but you broke through the clouds of the illusions, started focusing on this magic that you got, and now you're pulling all this good fortune and new, new beginnings towards you. People didn't realize who you were. It's almost like God had you hidden from these people because you got people that wish they would have treated you better now that they see what you're doing. Tell me more about disregard. Exactly, the sun. Okay, so you're seeing things for what it is. Okay, a master illuminator. Okay, people are seeing your life and it's making them feel some type of way. And I'm telling you, it's almost like you were hidden from people. They, you, It's like God hid you from people. So that he, it's almost like he wanted to see how these people were going to treat you. And, and he saw, and that's why these people are now exiting your life or you're leaving their life now. But you're happy, man. Your happiness your new beginnings is making somebody feel some type of way. But this is how people made you feel in the past, though, Taurus. Five of Pentacles. Feeling left out. Feeling abandoned. Feeling isolated by people. Okay? We're over that. Okay? Now, now it's reversing. Now you've got people feeling like, oh, man, they feel left out in the cold. They feel abandoned. They feel lonely. They crying over you. They depressed over you. But they put us through this. So... Now they want to try to come back here and offer you something now after they disregarded you. And it's pentacles. So somebody's seeing your finances, your good fortune here. Okay, is that the only reason they're coming back? Some of you guys, these people could have tossed you to the side because you found out about children and things like that. Okay. I'm telling you, you got more than, you got several messages, people knocking on your door from the past. Okay, trying to come towards you. Presenting these solid, loyal offers. You got these flirty, passionate messages trying to come through. You got people hearing about your good news, your offers here with your finances, your good fortune, good news with these new beginnings for you. Okay, and then you got people over here pissed off. 
because they feel like they made the wrong choice. They're looking back and like, man, I chose wrong. Taurus was the, the Taurus was the prize. But again, it's almost like you were hidden in plain sight. Okay. So these people, you know, they had a chance to treat you right, but now they don't get a now they don't get a seat at your table. So this is a very ego driven, lustful energy that you were dealing with here. Okay, someone that thought that they was going to choose someone else and that you just be laying down for the count depressed, but you got back up and you took your power back and you started taking inspired action for yourself. Okay, and now you've got these new choices coming in. Well, these people are going to feel disregarded by you now. Tell you about rejection. So rejection is God's protection. People walking out of your life. Okay, it's for a reason. I'm telling you, you got people trying to come back here. A lot of you guys, this rejection... And uh, what these people have done was like a catalyst for your growth, okay? St pushed you into your transformation, your rebirth energy, okay? And you got people seeing this. And it's like you got people trying to bring something back from the dead here. People re fear your rejection though, okay? You've had people that went and ran to other people. They could have gossiped, slandered your name, okay? But you didn't let any of that bother you. you. You kept your head down. You kept focusing on yourself, grounding yourself, nurturing yourself, focusing on that good fortune. And that's why you're being rewarded. But you've got past people trying to come back here and get in your good graces, Taurus. Queen of Wands, man. Man, you took your power back. Uh, something here about your magic intimidates people, too. Very intuitive. You can manifest whatever you desire here. Okay, you've had people reject you for other choices, okay, and now they're trying to come back, but boy, they see you seated, seated on this throne in your power, man, and it's making them feel some type of way. So, you guys could have been married to some of these people, okay, somebody wished they would have committed to you fully, okay, you could be having energies of people trying to pull up to your house, okay, because it's like you're moving in silence here, people are trying to fi figure out what you got going on in your life here, okay, I'm telling you. You got people that are left out in the cold, feeling isolated. Just they're not happy with their lives. And this is um, these people fear your rejection. They don't. They don't like to be told no. It's like they're gonna. Their ego is gonna take a hit. Some of you guys have already told these people no already. But you got people trying to come back here and offer you stability, flirty messages. This keeps coming back out. Okay, so you've got more than one person from your past trying to come back into your life, Taurus. Keep your boundaries up. These people don't get a seat at your table. Part of their karma is to watch you eat, and they are not going to be at your table. Tell me about shattered for Taurus. Tell me about shattered. Tell me about shattered. <laughs> telling you, they watching. You've got a lot of eyes on you watching. These are people that thought that they had you shattered, broken. And for some of you, they could have. But that's part of the, um, the, the catalyst, the growth that you stepped in. You know, being broken down and shattered into pieces, but you got back up and you put yourself back together. And it's freaking beautiful. So you got people spying. They're shattered. They're, they're in disbelief of what how you're living your life right now. Tell me more about shattered. The strength. The courage that you exude. You keeping your silence here. Okay, you've had people try to keep uh, use silence to... to gain control over you something here about you no longer reacting like you used to either Taurus that's part of your growth as well taming that beast within not everything deserves a reaction okay so you've got people shattered by your silence and your courage okay that's good shattered by all the hard work that you're doing I'm telling you you've got eyes on you that see you just hard at work mastering whatever it is that you're doing in your life okay self-improvements just working on your finances that good fortune and now you've got people wanting to try to come back in here for you. And it's a very fast-moving energy, okay? They want it now. People that rush you, they don't want you to see what they got going on in their lives, okay? I feel like some of these people's lives are falling apart, and they see you winning. So you could have people trying to start fights and argue arguments with you, because that's what I just said earlier. People are shattered because they're not getting reactions out of you like they once did before, okay? And you still got uh, people trying to jab at you still. Okay, this is people that don't take accountability for their actions. They take off, they, they leave you, abandon you, and then they thought that you was they had you down for the count and they didn't. Okay, like I'm telling you, there's more than one energy trying to come here for you. You've got some people. You've got people getting ready to come back into your life or try to. So use your discernment and keep your boundaries up. So non-committal player energies, back and forth, okay, reckless, compulsive energy. 
okay? These people are shattered because you've taken inspired action. Look at you, went right into your inspired action and you started manifesting. You didn't, people didn't realize that you're magic, okay? And they're seeing it now. You've got everything that you need to manifest your dream life and you've got people like stunned at the magic that you exude. Some of them could think that you're doing magic, but again, I don't need to do, I don't do witchcraft. I don't need to do magic. I am magic. And this is your justice. A lot of you guys are these people's karma too, is to sit back and watch you eat at your table and they, not, they don't get a seat at the table. So a lot of you guys are walking karma for people. These scales are balancing out. You've got people trying to come back and make things right with you now, guys. Don't let them have a spot in your life. Tell me about change of heart. So changing your mind. In all areas of your life, people, look at this, leaving all this drama behind. Good for you. Okay? So, no longer giving anybody reactions. No longer letting, um, trying to get people to see your worth, validate you anymore. You're over it. Okay? You've got people trying to come back in here and start fights or trying to fight for you. Because they, they're so pressed that you're not giving them nothing. This is what you've changed your heart on the drama the chaos being put in third parties you're just over it you're too focused on your fortune your money these new beginnings okay no longer wanting these commitments back a lot of you guys are spiritual teachers you're here on your mission doing what you're supposed to do so you're teaching these people some things here but no longer wanting these connections back whether there's marriage or no marriage involved no longer wanting these players coming in and out of your life back and forth no longer wanting nothing to do with this energy we're not a doormat. You're, you don't get to come walk all over us when you want. That's not how it works anymore. No longer falling for the illusions. Okay? M being manipulated. We're focused on our manifestations. We're, we're figuring out who we are. And we want better for ourselves. Again, some of you guys are walking karma. Your change of heart is this person's karma. Your karma, their karma is to see you eat, sit at the table and eat. And they don't get to be a part of it. You got people trying to come back here and make things right with you, but you're over it, okay? This is how people had you, trapped in your mind, okay? Over-stressing, overthinking things, okay? Gaslighting you, okay? Pulling on your insecurities. Why did you trapped in this mental conflict and you're over it? You got yourself out of it. And it's like you've got people still trying to come back and put you in that energy here. But boy, let me tell you, you've got people freaking out about your magic and what you're doing. They're, they're like, they're shook, man. Closing out these cycles, ready for new cycles. So you guys could be planning on moving, okay? Moving away from your hometown, getting away from these people, or you may need to, okay? Some of these people are watching you online, definitely, because they're definitely seeing what you're doing. But closing these cycles out, preparing for new, loving yourself, knowing your worth, looking at just assessing your life and the connections that you've had in your life. And you're like, you know what? I want better for myself. I deserve better. I'm going to be very... Um, choosy with who gets my love because you you are a catch okay and and this is you knowing your worth now trusting your intuition figuring about that magical side that you have towards you okay building this generational wealth without these past people you've got past people seeing you build this now and they're trying to come back in here for you okay you guys could be going into new connections and building this wealth with new people if that's not the case you're doing it by yourself either way Okay, so you're taking your power back, man. So, and you got people that are, like, they, they view you as a challenge. So some of these people think, like, it's a game. Like, they're just going to try to edge their way back into your life. No. Again, very intuitive in this fearless energy, taking your power back, and you ain't letting anybody dethrone you again. And I know that's right. I've got fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. I've got water, Leo, Scorpio, Earth, Air, Leo again, fire, Taurus, fire, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, and air here. So change of heart. We're done. We're over it. And now we've got people wanting to try to come back and apologize to us now. So try to get us reminiscing on the good times that we had. Okay. Trying to come back and tempt us, lure us back in. Okay, these people are tempted by what you've got going on in your life. And these are people that let temptations get the best of them. And they still in this energy. And they looking at you as this big shiny trophy trying to get you back. That's why they're contemplating. Okay, to what? To try to trap you. Back in that trap. Lure you back into that trap that you got yourself out of. That's what you got past people trying to do here, Taurus. Taurus, bad habits. So 
There's some people that got these bad habits coming towards you. Some of you guys could have had some bad habits, okay? Suffered from addictions. It's almost like you got people wanting to try to come back and put you back in these bad habits again. Because they're still doing this. Tell me more. See, they want to get you nostalgic. They want you back in this energy where love's on the brain. You, you, you got out of your feelings and you started focusing on that magic that you have and, and your money. And it's all coming towards you now. And you got people wanting to try to... They're trying to get you nostalgic again about the past. Wasting time. Okay? We're not letting anybody waste our time. These are people that are going to keep us stuck, limited. And these people are stuck and limited. They're not, they don't know how to do what you're doing. It's almost like they're trying to figure out what you're doing. They want to get in your life. Okay? Some of these people could have some STDs since you've been away from these people. You got people that's been sleeping around, don't do that. And if there's not, if it's not necessarily an STD, it's a sexually transmitted disease, as I call, I call it. So, man, these people aren't doing good, man. Don't let them back in your life. Your body is a temple, guys. You got people fake flexing, running around, acting like they got all this stuff. And then I feel like you've got energies trying to come back here and, and make it seem like they've got all this stuff. As I always say, people that, that brag and talk about what they have, they ain't got nothing, man. It's the ones that have stuff. They, they stay quiet about it because, you know, there's vultures out here that'll take advantage of that. Fake smiles trying to come back. I'm telling you. These people with their fake smiles trying to come back here for you. And they are wolves in sheep's clothing. They, they want what you have, Taurus. <laughs> they ain't shh. Some of you guys could be tattoo artists, have a lot of tattoos, draw, just artists in, in general. But, man, these people ain't shh. Okay, and they're pissed off because you're uninterested. Okay, and they're trying to figure out how to put you back in that love energy towards them. Some of you guys could be planning on traveling. Some of you guys are moving away from this hometown, these people. So it's almost like, and you got people trying to travel towards you as well too. Okay, these people aren't doing good financially. Some of these people could have depleted your finances. Okay, but people are looking at your money, and they're trying to come back in here and leech off of that. I don't like it. We've got groupie energy. So you've had people try to come gang stalk you, have to, you know, form a group of people to try to come up against you. Okay? you got people here that they don't know how to, they follow the crowd. They don't know how to stand on their own. Okay? So you've got a groupie energy. So it's like you've got fans, Taurus. Legal issues. Some of you guys could be going to court with these people, had divorces with these people. Um... Some kind of legal issues. Some of you guys could be have some court cases that you're getting ready to go to. But these scales are balancing out. And I'm telling you, there's something here about you being walking karma for these people. These people are mad that you're unbothered. They're always partying, doing the most, okay? And some of you guys were in this energy at one time. And they're, and they're mad and pressed that you pulled yourself out of that. And you're no longer entertaining this energy. And you still got these past people that are doing this. And they want to try to pull you back into that. Happiness haters, man. I'm telling you. You got people that are not happy that your life is doing amazing. So they want to try to come in here and, you know, be that wolf in sheep's clothing and, and make it seem like they have your best interest, but they don't. This is people that are mad and they want to tear apart what you've created for yourself. I rebuke that. Taurus. Spiritual. So that's a spiritual awakening here. You got a lot of people having ego deaths. They're in chaos. These people are going in on a downward spiral, okay? And this is what I feel like you had to go through to get to this awakening, Taurus. Got people hating on your spirituality. Psycho, man. Crazy exes. Obsessed. They won't let go. That's why some of you guys are needing to move because the hometown, the crazy exes, are they're lurking, okay? Tell me more, Taurus. Tell me more, Taurus. Taurus. See? These people are going to make it seem like they've got their life together. Okay? A lot of these people are bankrupt. These people could have gave you bad credit, left debt in your names and things like that. Okay? You guys could have lost jobs over these people, but they're not doing good. And they're trying to come back and make it seem like they are. Okay? That they aren't doing bad, I meant. But they, they, they're not doing good. Love spells, so you got people here. You know, our words are even spells too, guys. So you got people wanting to try to come back and, and talk these sweet nothings into your ears, okay? And then for some, these people are doing stupid little spells. You can't mess with people's free will, man. 
side hustles. Some of you guys have some side hustles and that's part of your career on the rise. New streams of income, okay? It's like you you know how to, you, you're definitely in this energy where you're, you're getting different streams of income in different areas of your life here, okay? And you got people effed up over this, okay? They're, they're effed up. And now you got people trying to come back here and put you in this trickery, these illusions. You've had people try to tell you that your dreams and what you wanted for yourself was like, you can't make that happen, okay? That's, they wanted to take that from you. And, well, they're seeing that you're doing it now. So they're, they're trying to put you back in a fairy tale. Jezebel spirits. Jealousy. Trying to lure, pe lure people with sex. Using people. This is a Jezebel spirits trying to come back for you. GPS. People trying to track you down, locate you. Okay? Some of you guys, these people could have did things to, tr like, keep a track on you. Because let me tell you, when people are cheating on you and doing you wrong, they try to, they'll keep you on a tight leash because they automatically think that you're doing that because they have a guilty conscience. That's why they do that. So, but you got people trying to track your ass. They shocked. They, they shocked by what you're doing, how you're living your life, the magic, the, the fortune, everything that you've got going on in your life. They're shocked. And you've had a lot of people shock you with stuff that they were doing to you behind your back. Family. Some of you guys could be getting pregnant, creating new family dynamics. Some of you guys got were hurt by people because you found out that people were having children behind your back here. And some of you have family with these people coming towards you. And some of you guys, this is your family trying to come back into your life as well. You're living in the moment, doing you, okay? Just chilling, letting all this great stuff come towards you, okay? And you got past people that are fed up. They're, they're stressed out. They're, their money's being depleted. They're like, they're being pulled in all these different directions while you're chilling. Now they want to try to send a love message out to you. Try to get you in that lovey-dovey energy. Trying to mirror you. Okay? And something about you holding a mirror up to people. And you make people see their true authentic self here, guys. And you definitely got people wanting to mirror your beautiful energy here. Bumping heads, man. You, you will continue bumping heads with these people if you try to come back. Let them, let them come back for you. Running from these people. This is people that would... would bump heads with you because you would try to, you know, if you, if, whether you were finding out what they were doing behind your back, okay, but it's like these people would bump these heads with you and then they'd run from you and they thought that you'd be, again, sad and hurt, but you're not, and now they see you taking off and running away and now they're trying to come back here with this shady energy because you're taking off and leaving them behind, okay, reckless energy, using sex people being reckless with your love and this is sticking out karmic ties so we're cutting these people that we've got karmic ties with we're learning the lesson and we're not letting these people try to come back because you got a lot of karmics trying to come back in here and with this reckless energy and try to get back into your life Taurus don't don't let him do that this message went a little longer I apologize guys I like doing this all right, Taurus, let me get some more for Taurus, babes. September, so that is a Virgo Libra energy, I believe. Something could have happened significantly in September for you, okay? This could represent the, um, the zodiac signs that you were dealing with. Tell me more. And then we've got a cup. You should accept valid criticism. So you've got people here that... They don't know how to take criticism, okay? And it's almost like they're trying to trying to come back and jab at you, but this is about you just, I accept criticism, good or bad. This is what these people don't understand, okay? It's almost like you've got people wanting to try to come back and jab at you and try to make you feel some type of way, but if you try to tell them about their issues, they don't want to accept it. They can't handle it. Tell me more. And then we've got February energy, which is... Um, which is a Aquarius Pisces energy, I believe. Something significant could be happening in February here. we got February coming up in a couple months. Tell me more. And we've got a goldfish. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Exactly. We've got the magic card out. We've got good fortune. You, everything is increasing for you guys. That's why these past people are trying to come in here for you. 
got a frying pan, trouble, accusations. So you could, I'm telling you, you got people trying to come back and point fingers, accuse you of things. And something about these past people, when it, when it gets too hot in the kitchen, they take off and run. But boy, they can sit there and, and di dish it out to you, but they can't handle it back. These people will bring trouble to your life, okay? And they've got an archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and pathways opening up. I'm telling you, you've got a lot of good things going on, Taurus. Wreath, sorrow over loss. And you're going to have people that are going to be in pain over you. But those, these are people that left you in the dust. And they don't get to come back now. Dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. So there's something here about a friendship here for some of you. You guys could have some friends that you may have had a falling out with. Now, for some of you, these are friends that aren't for your highest good. And they're trying to come towards you as well. Okay, so make sure you're using your discernment on that area as well. Taurus. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. That's what these people wanted your life to be like, and you're not. Okay? You, you're, you're on track now. You've got some indecisive people trying to come back here and put you back in that, that wishy-washy energy, Taurus. Tell me more. And then protection from a powerful friend. So, yeah, I've got a, a couple powerful friends here. So, and protection from your spiritual team too, guys, okay? So you definitely got some protection around you as well. So these people got to need to watch themselves. For some of you, there's one particular person here that's got your back. And then we've got happiness. Mm -hmm. You could be getting flowers from past people here. But you're happy, man. People see your happiness. Tell me more. It's like people want to leech off your happiness. And there's your crown. Honor and respect will come to you. Exactly. And that's what you're doing. Some of you guys are finding out that you are you come from a royal bloodline, okay? You're royal. This is about not letting anybody knock this crown off you anymore. You're held in high honor and respect. Okay, and then stepping into new experiences. Again, with this magic, these new beginnings, your career on the rise, you've got all kinds of beautiful things that you're getting ready to line up for you. That, that table is being prepared before your enemies. Climbing towards success. I'm telling you, you've had a lot of adversity put into your life, but you kept going. Continue to keep going. Don't look back. Time to go out and have fun. So some of you guys need to go out and enjoy life a little bit. I, I know I need to do this. I get a little get a little too stuck in the house. I went and visited my, my friend yesterday and got a we exchanged gifts, so that was nice, but she's amazing. But anywho, time to go out and have fun, okay? Some of you guys could be getting asked out on dates or just going out with friends and just go out and have some fun, Taurus. And then we've got Sunrise. New creative ideals, new ventures, a fresh start. So I'm telling you, there's new everything coming for you, man. Victory in some endeavor. Victory is yours. My gosh, I love this read for us. And then getting together with friends, as I just said. You guys could be getting around new friendship circles or you need to get out and hang out with some new friends. Friends turning into lovers for somebody here. Just getting out there. Some of you guys could meet new people through your friends. Successfully overcoming a problem. Absolutely. Okay, you've had people try to tear your bridge down, but you build it back up and you and you reinforce that bridge stronger. And this is you going across that and not looking back. And then we've got ant, work, achievement, and success. I'm telling you, continue to keep doing what you're doing here. Okay? You've had people that wanted to play down. They thought that you were small and nothing. Ants are small, but they're very determined, and they make things happen here. So this is what you've been doing. You had people wanted to keep you small, but, boy, you started working and focusing on your achievements and your success, and you're being rewarded for it, Taurus. So don't let these people come back because you literally have God preparing a table in front of your enemies, and they are all like they're, they're, their jaws are on the, on the floor right now. They can't believe what's going on with your life. So... All right, my beautiful Tauruses, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back in a couple days, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. Light and love to you guys. Love you so much. See you guys later.